gotten a lot better for Falcon since 20 GX. Yeah. Because it's difficult because there's some slight DI that she can do to make it ambiguous whether because Falcon's main punish game is get the grab, down throw. You can tech chase if they DI out, or you can re-grab if they DI in, just like that. But then there's that ambiguous DI where it's like they're going off stage, they're kinda of DIing out but not fully. So you can't like react fast enough to get the grab. Did you see how fast Gatsu counteracted as soon as he saw she was che uh, like charging the needles? Like he, he like came ran down it. and got that grab so fast. From downtown, got that grab, but unfortunately. Unfortunately, Mewtwo King is known to do very well off the grab. Yeah, Tech Chase Master. Bar. Yeah, I really like that. He just kind of stood there, held his ground, and then forward tilted because he knew that Gatsu just wanted to run around, you know, stuff like that. Ooh, nice Tech Chase platform. Follow up. One thing, like, Mewtwo King's Tech Chase is always, like, three grabs, and then he starts either down smashing or forward tilting. Yeah. It's crazy. I feel like it just is, like, it's like he doesn't have enough RAM in his system to do too many calculations at once, so he just like throws out like the better option to keep stage control most of the time, or if he has like a really good read. Yeah. Other than that, it's like after three, he's like, oh, there's too many options going on, let me just do something to like ease his brain. Yeah. I feel I feel the same exact way, because like you can start feeling yourself when you get like the, okay, I got the, the tech, the tech, in, the tech away, the tech in place. Especially when you get tech in place or no tech reacting to that stuff, you definitely start to feel yourself a little bit. Yeah. But then you can like tilt yourself in that way, you know? You also, I guess you have more options for like a mental capacity against your opponent, you know? You're not just doing the exact same thing over and over again. Because yeah. then it's your opponent's just thinking about how they're going to kind of mix it up. Yeah. But if you're kind of putting yourself a level above that, like, what are they going to do? They just have to start reacting to your meta, yeah. you know? Yeah, and I think that's really important because DI mix-ups are, like, they can be the, like, they can just take stocks alone. Like, one bad DI and your stock's yeah. gone. Shoutouts to Falcon's grab range actually yeah, being dude. a little bit behind him. Yeah, backpacking, man. Yeah. I like backpacking. That's a good turn. Oh, nice follow-up. That up, uh, up air knee. Definitely, like, the... One of the classics, you're going to see Falcon uh, land a lot of those in general. Especially because Sheik's a really good combo weight for Falcon. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that, like, I don't know, you just see this happen a lot where the, the tech chase is just so brutal. <laughs> no wake up shine here. No, and there's and his tech roll isn't very long either. Yeah. And then see, like, right there, we got to want to get back on the stage because he didn't really have much. He has that double jump. Yeah, up beat, but that's about it. So he, he tried to do, like, quick little. Neutral air, get back on stage, but you know, it's low yeah, it percent just, still. Mewtwo King, you're just gonna get punched and hit off. You can crouch cancel, you can space around it, stuff like that. Mewtwo yeah. King's ready. Oh, he's trying to style on him with his down air. Yeah, like, and yeah, Gatsu's out of there. The one thing that I'd like to see him try and go for is the purposely miss the tech and SDI the jab, because Mewtwo King's gonna go for the jabs. Like, he's he's been shown to do that a lot. Wizrobe did that almost every single, not every single time. He used to do that literally every time, where anytime he played Mewtwo King, he would always miss, Mewtwo King would always jab, and Wizrobe would, like, go for the SDI every single time. But that set that uh, he recently 3 0 Mewtwo King, he would mix it up a lot, and I feel like Mewtwo King just wasn't able to punish off the grab like he normally was able to because of that, so. Oh, man. Mewtwo King winning the crouch cancel battle of jabs and gets the grab. Okay. Here we go again. Oh, I think Gatsu heard me, but he's not smashing it hard enough. Because <laughs> he just went for the mistech three times in a row. Oh, oh the weak hit, hit dash oh, attack. Oh, that was dirty. That was gross. Absolutely disgusting. Mewtwo King is a combo monster. Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't know. There's enough combo videos of him doing stuff, but there's always, like, new... He always comes up with new stuff. Yeah. That's just kind of the kind of player he is. You it's know? the knowledge of definitely hitboxes. You know, he understands like how people want to DI in a lot of scenarios. Oh, he doesn't get the reverse hit. This gives uh, Music King a chance to live because he has that jump. Oh, but I guess he's like, nah, I don't feel like recovering against Falcon. I know I'm going to die. I guess that's also like, if you put it in perspective, that's why attributes in this game are just as important as like frame data. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you sure. know where this is going to go and when it's going to come out, but to, to know that different aspects of each move, yeah, that just puts you a level above everyone else. Oh, yeah, because you can know it. Like, oh, yeah, Shine comes out on frame one, but if you don't know what to do with it, yeah, like, sure. I feel like that's what a lot of people like to talk about Shine being broken because it comes out on frame one, but like there's so much counterplay and like how you use it is way more important than yeah. just using it. The know? versatility is what yeah. makes it broken. Sometimes using Shine in a lot of places is just bad. But it does not matter because Gatsu definitely getting the, the stomp knee punish. He's at the legendary percent, now it's all gone. Ah. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. As over. soon as it's gone, what are yeah, you going to do? Yeah, you, you get nothing off of it. <laughs> I feel like as soon as commentators like mention it too, that's when it like it just starts to lose its power. You just have to say nothing about it. It's like yeah, a commentator for sure. curse. For sure. Oh yeah, there that's we a go. Music King did not full DI that away. And even if he did, Gatsu still would have gotten a tech chase. Like he has yeah. enough time to place the knee in the tech in place, like miss tech spot, and then like react to whatever like options there are. Could pull something off here. He has to be careful. Okay, I like the use of the Raptor boost. Oh, you want it yeah. back. Oh, another one. Pick it up. Yeah, Gatsu wants to control center stage, and he doesn't want to overextend because if he's just a little bit late on his punishes, Yuta King can get a grab of his own, and that's the end of his stock, pretty Ooh. much. So Possibly, he has to, was that a little uh, tech flop there? Yeah, he wanted to down knee. throw. Yeah, he wanted to down throw or something. Oh no, yeah. Gatsu knows that this is possibly it. Dude, oh. that up air, that fast fall up air oh. off the stage, that was a crazy conversion! Yeah, Mitsu King is not messing around. His punish game... Nuts. So, like, think of it from, like, the long run, how he did the drop off up air to oh, yeah. perfectly set him up at that, just that distance above him. He knew he needed bring to bring him all the way across. More distance to the combo and more percent to send him all the way off. Yeah. Because after he's so long, you know. Yeah, and he thought about that, like, so early on. Or at least he took it that far. He took it know? that far. He probably thought, you know, it'd be cool. Play up air. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, let's just keep it going, man. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if I up air, I get to keep comboing him. That'd be cool. Oh, and I like Pokemon as a pick. It's a good Falcon stage. It's a good Falcon versus Sheik stage. But I feel like Sheik still gets a lot of the same, like, you know, tech chases are still pretty... Outside of the transformations, the tech chases are still pretty, pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact that Mitsu King is at 0%, no longer. Oh my goodness. Because Gatsu is opening him up, getting a super damaging punish. 57%. Not bad. Uh, you definitely want to see the stock gone when you get an opening like as strong as that, but DJ King uh, mixed up his recovery well. Oh no, the crouching yeah. crouching Sheik is so small. Did he just try to like moonwalk into him? That's actually pretty swag. I appreciate it. You like that little fake out he did with the fake needle charge? He thought he was about to grab the ledge and then just came out with back air. Oh yeah. I see uh, Sheik's go for that sometimes. It's, it's definitely very tricky because not only is there like a visual cue, there's an audio cue. Like you yeah. hear the, the little slinging of the, the needles and you're like, oh, okay, so he's you know going to grab ledge. And then nope, back air to the face. And that weak hit of the back air is just so good at just taking these stocks so early. Is it just me or is Mewtwo being like good on this stage? Because this is traditionally a very strong stage. stage. Yeah. yeah. And Gatsu was holding his own on FD, but now he's getting kind of worked. And Gatsu is afraid to fight him in the pit. Yeah. When I feel like that might be in his favor, honestly. Well, the issue is, is that uh, Music King can tech off the wall and stuff That's like that. True, and yeah. any trade he wants to just avoid. He wants to outright win neutral four yeah. times and hopefully just win. Yeah, I guess. There's just, it's just really hard to do anything here, I guess. Yeah. And the thing is, he can if he survives. There is like a, a small glimmer if he's zero to death some three times in a row. Small glimmer of hope, which is possible off this grab. He's able to react perfectly. Cool. And he went for the read. But oh, he has stage position. There we go. Oh, but the mistech into the grab ledge. That is so good. He needs to do something here. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a throw. The defensive option in today's day and age, like slide offs with both the ledge and like platforms 